Alright guys, I'm here to talk about sunscreen and for a while, for a while there I was, uh, I was only into lotion but I've decided now I think I'll prefer dry oil when I first saw dry oil I thought nah, I'll still be oily and all that too hard to wash off but actually I find two things about lotion it makes you look like a ghost, you know. I thought, I thought by now they would come up with ways to not make you look like a ghost, but it does. It looks as if you're wearing some sort of film on your skin, which you are, but like plastic film, you know, that you'd wrap your sandwiches in, that sort of thing. And so I gave uh, Calypso a try from Out of Home Bargains, and I think, I think I'm going to say. Dry oil is the answer. Well, the best you'll get. And the reasons I say that are... I think it doesn't make you look so much as a ghost. It does, still. But, uh, you know, it looks as if you're wearing something... Plastic film over yourself. But, uh, and also, I thought that... I would use more of this, but I think actually I use less... By that I mean, with lotion you're actually putting a big dollop over yourself, whereas with dry oil you're, you're just putting a, a lighter film. So, I'm here to advise you all, take dry oil sunscreen unless, but the big test is, does it protect you from sun? Burn? I can't really tell at the moment, in fact both of them I think, both of them I get a bit of a reaction when I put them on and my skin goes red. And I can't even tell if it really is sunburn or skin damage. I'm talking about afterwards as well, you know. But uh, So I don't really know, actually. But you would think so, wouldn't you? Uh, on to the, the dry oil. It's only protection factor 30. I just go for the high ones. Maybe I'll go for low ones later. But I'll go for high ones because you never know when you'll be out all day. Like if you're out cycling or something. Because I, I've been burnt in late March, out cycling all day, you know. I could feel the sun right on me. I mean, in late March, it's meant to be that you're not going to get burnt, or maybe that's just me thinking that. But it really felt that I was going to get burnt because I could feel it right on my face. And I did get burnt. I didn't have sunscreen oil that day. But, uh, I mean, I don't know whether I'm talking about UVAA. You know, type A is maybe the one that goes deep into your skin and does a real damage. I don't think type B is much good for you either, but that, that's the sort of tanning one, I think, isn't it? But type A goes right in, deep in your skin and causes damage later on. Because there's my... I mean, if you look at an old person's belly compared to their arms or hands, or even their face, you know, that's all skin damage, you know? You might think when you're younger, oh, the freckles look cute and all that, but... Once you get older, you've got to look out for them all in case they turn into cancer, skin cancer and stuff. But that's all damage, you know. So, personally, I'm um, anti-skin damage, you know. I don't know how others feel about it, but if you look at an old person's belly or something, their back, you know, somewhere that hasn't got the sun, it's a lot better. So, let's take a look at these. Home bargains, this was 2 99 I think it was. I'll put the price on. Let's see if we notice anything. I hope you're reading this. Let's get fit. I mean, you guys. It says it's non-greasy. I find it's non-greasy. Yeah, I find it's it's the best sunscreen I can find for the feel on your skin. That uh, it's not it's not clogging your skin up, you know, and it's not that obvious. You've got sunscreen on, whereas. The lotion it definitely is. It could be that I'm using cheap lotions or something, I don't know. So I would recommend trying this one if you see it in Home Bargains or whatever. It's not just Home Bargains that sell this one. And there's some chemical names for you. I'll see if I notice any. Oh look at that one. Are they having a laugh are they? Yeah. Perfume. Uh, I know that one. That's vitamin E, guys. Took off for acetate. K 
you are, and that sounds familiar. UVA plus UVB, broad spectrum, Calypso, and that was pretty cheap out of home bargains. Here's this barcode. No QR code, guys. Non greasy, absorbs instantly. I don't know about that, but it's definitely less of a screen. Water resistant. Well, that's good to hear. Like if you go in water or something, it should stay on. One thing about it, I sprayed it in my eyes with my eyes closed. I sprayed it there, but eventually it did get into my eyes and it, it was still stung a bit, but not as much as sun as Lula Lotion does when I'm out cycling and after a while the sweat. It gets in my eyes and really stings. It wasn't as bad as that, it still was quite a bit, but I don't advise get, putting it in your eyes. The other good thing about oil, the dry oil, is I squirted it right in my face and on, you know, my arms, my legs. Uh, and then you just squirt it a bit or just put it in your palm of your hands and put it... I mean... I find that I don't use as much. I thought I would use more, but actually I don't use as much. So in that way it's going to be better because I think it's going to last longer. And I just, comparing it to this, I would say if you're buying sunscreen, looking the likes, I thought Home Bargains would always be the place to go, but actually looking at uh, Home Bargains, I wouldn't say now, I'd say for sunscreen, check even Tesco and Lido for their own brands because they might be a bit cheaper if, if price is your main thing or your only thing and that's only SPF 30 that means 30 times it would, that it would take you to burn and actually depending on your skin mine's is estimated to be about 20 minutes I think you know which is, isn't very long when you think of it but if I'm getting 30, 30 times 20 minutes but then if you're sweating and all that, you're probably meant to keep putting more on. So, 30 should see me. See if I'm out on a bike ride all day, you know, 8 hours or something. But this, this, this one's 50. Most of the ones, the lotion ones, I go for are 50, but you can get less. It says it's water resistant as well. Yeah, this was pretty cheap. It was only about £2.75 or something. I think Lidl might even be cheaper for their own ones. And you can... Develop for sensitive skin. I like that. Let's see. Fragrance free. It says reapply every one to two hours. It says, avoid midday sun between 11 and 3. Well, you can't always do that, can you? And most of the time, you're that's when you're out to get it. As I say, I'm a anti-UV person. You know, there's still people that like to get, not burnt, but tanned and that. I wonder if you can get tanned now without damaging your skin. Probably not. Let's look at the aqua. That's water, guys. It's water. Glycerine. That's just a sort of emulsion thing, in it? Titanium dioxide. Yeah, that's, that'll probably be the main, one of the main sunscreens. That's probably why you look like a ghost. There's the vitamin E to cough or acetate. Yeah, just to show you this one to compare it, but I might as well show you. It says five stars for UVA, it's ultra. So that's a Tesco one. That was only about two seventy-five or something. I'll put the prices here. Uh, 
but I prefer dry oil so I'm here to put each dry oil. That's as long as it protects you, which I can't totally verify yet. But yeah, it should, shouldn't it? As a, what stars has that got for UVA? It's not got any stars in it. Oh, you can peel back for different languages on it. There you go, guys. Oh. Addendum time, guys. Sunscreen on a rainy day. Uh, yeah, I just, I read something in the Daily Mail yesterday and they were talking about sunscreens. They said there's two main types. Mineral based, which is sort of mask, like zinc or t titanium, as we saw in the Tesco one. And that's why you look like a ghost, really, because you're you're putting a sort of mask on you. It's like when the cricketers used to have the that white stripe underneath their eyes, you know, sort of thing. And the other type is sort of well, I don't know. I, I don't actually know what it is. Does it sort of chemically break it down, break down the UVA and B as it hits your skin, something like that? Which I'm presuming this oil was. And the other thing about this is uh, usually yeah the lotion suns the sunscreen lotion clogs up my bath. You shouldn't have a bath really when you're uh, to clean off sunscreen but sometimes I do and uh, you should do uh, by shower you know the sensible way. But then it really leaves scum round the thing me. Whereas with this oil I didn't feel that, uh, I don't feel that there is sort of the same amount of scum. I don't know if there was any actually. I'll need to double check. I'll get back to you. Uh, so I, I prefer dry oil and I'm just uh, just making this video because in case you were all going for lotion the same as I was. And the other thing I wondered about titanium dioxide and stuff like that uh, was I thought that they might always be coming up with improved ways of uh, doing these sunscreens so you don't notice them. But then I thought, well, maybe they're now taking biodegradable issue as one of the main things. And maybe they've gone back to mineral-based ones like titanium and zinc. Maybe they've gone back to that for biodegradable reasons, for green reasons, you know. So you're doing the planet good using them, but you've, it's taking a step back in how you look visually because you look like a ghost, you know. But I don't know if the same goes for the chemical types. I'll just look at this again. There's definitely no titanium there. Uh, well, it's main ingredient is alcohol. I don't think I noticed that. It's denatured, but... Uh, Let's see, I just, I just can't believe these words that they're... I wonder if they're just making them up, eh? Maybe just... Yeah, the thing in the Daily Mail, it was uh, saying that the ones tested by which, uh, none of them lived up to what they were saying they would do, the, you know, the amount of protection factor they would give. Uh, well, I don't know of all of them, but... They, they were already exaggerating, or I don't know. I don't. I don't trust Witch, you know, because I I've seen stuff in Witch before that I didn't agree with, you know, electronics or whatever. And I, I don't agree with the Witch, uh, the funding principle, you know. I, if I was in charge of Witch, I would just make it adverts, as long as uh, I believed in the the companies or the brands, you know. Like my adverts would be Decathlon. Uh, I'll get back to you with the others. Yeah, so there ends my uh, sunscreen thing, mate. I think you should try dry oil, because it's not going to leave much scum in your bath, if at all. Uh, that's still open to interpretation. And I got this one out of uh, Home Bargains. But uh, little and all that sells spray as well. Maybe, is it spray? Are they all the same? Are they all dry oil nowadays? I like the idea of dryness. There you go, I'm just rambling, rambling. Goodbye. Another thing with this, it's got the safety thing there. 
but with the spray, I get my hands sticky, you know, when I'm spraying, and it's my finger slips. So, I'm trying to think of a strategy, and I'm going to try and keep one hand clean until the final, the final moment. Then I'll have to clean that one. Uh, and then I need to do that one, so I've got less slippy time on the thing. Me, of course, you don't get that problem in lotion because you just splash, spread it all over. So look out for that, guys. It's a bit of a downside.